guys and gals, welcome to this episode of Gear Heck Girl Garage, where today we're going to be replacing our trailer master cylinder. So first things first, I want to make sure you got a rag, stick it underneath your work area. And we'll go ahead and get started. So we're going to take a half inch or 13 and get this off. All right, so that is loose and out of the way. And then we'll remove these nuts here. So we're gonna take our size 13 socket with a nice long extension here. And our 13 wrench. And then we've got, so then we've got our 13 size nut, 14 size bolt. We're gonna get this off right here. We're just gonna pull that out. On the other side, you can see we've got some brake fluid, so you want to have that rag handy. And out comes your old master cylinder. You can see this has clearly seen better days. Ooh, that might be a ooh spider. Yep, spider's nest. That's great. All right, so now we'll get to work. One installing our nice fresh new one okay here we have our old disintegrating master cylinder that's been filled with spiders here is our nice fresh new one and we'll transfer this over to here and be good to go and we've got over here you can see our nice new freshy fresh Master cylinder, and the rubber's not disintegrating, and there's no spiders in it. It's great. We've got all of our nice new hardware that comes with that as well. All right, so if you're smart, you can do this while it's still mounted to your trailer. If not, just get yourself a vise. And these trojans do appear to be imperial, so this is going to be a 916th in case you need to reference that and you don't want to round off your fitting. There we go. And just like that, you can get your fitting out and Get yourself some brake clean. Spray through there. See, it's still pretty clean. And just get that a little bit of clean in there. Highly recommend using gloves. Don't do what I'm doing. Okay. Now we need to assemble this part on this nice new one. So, to get this clip out, there we go. Get that out. And this. And you can see that slides, fits nice, smoothly in there. Add that in there, like so. Get it nice and seated, and get your clip. 
All right, so you can see there, it takes a little bit of doing, but you can get that clip popped right in there with a screwdriver. So, now that that is in there, you can finish the install. Now that we've got that on there, And pop this over. Nice protective. You can see on this one that had totally disintegrated. So that's nice and good. And I'll pull out this piece. You can see the threads. And we'll install. into the new one. Cool. And now we're ready to install it onto the trailer. So we've got the two long bolts, which go here, and the short one, which goes there. Go ahead. our half inch here and tighten that down. So we've got everything nice and tightened up. We're gonna fill it up with a dot three brake fluid and bleed it according to the instructions here. Once you guys do that, you'll be all done. All right, so thanks for watching this video on how to replace your Trojan Master Cylinder on your trailer. If you found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment below, and we'll catch you guys back for the next one. See ya. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and like and comment if you enjoyed this video. If you want to be awesome and provide support for better content, click on the Patreon link in the description below. Check us out online at GearheadGirl69.com or GHG69.com or follow us on Instagram and TikTok at GearheadGirl69.